With the drama in Japan still unfolding, many questions about this country's nuclear power systems are being asked. Just how safe is it, and could this kind of failure actually happen here? CBS News national correspondent Jim Axelrod is in Peekskill, New York, near the Indian Point Nuclear Power Plant for us this morning. Jim, good morning. Well, good morning, Chris. New York's Governor Andrew Cuomo now says he wants a safety review conducted on Indian Point, which sits on the banks of the Hudson River near one of the country's most populated areas. And judging from lawmakers in Washington, he will not be alone. Congressional hearings were held Wednesday over growing concerns about the safety of nuclear power in the United States. China, Venezuela, Germany, Switzerland, and other countries are shutting down older plants and scrapping plans for new ones. We, too, need a seismic shift in our approach to nuclear reactor safety. Of particular interest is the type of reactor used in the Fukushima plants in Japan. It's called the Mark I, designed by GE in the 1960s. There are 23 Mark I reactors currently operating in 16 sites across the country. Dale Breidenbaugh quit his job in 1976 as a GE safety manager over concerns about the Mark I's dependability. Anything that would wipe out the backup power system to those plants could result in the same thing that's happening at Fukushima. General Electric says modifications have made the Mark I safe, but it's not just the Mark I that's raising concerns across the country. The Indian Point nuclear plant here in New York is a different design, but still worries Governor Andrew Cuomo. Uh, as Attorney General, I did a lot of work on Indian Point. My position was that it shouldn't be relicensed. My position was that it should be closed. Indian Point sits just 35 miles north of New York, the city with the highest population in the U.S., and right near a seismic fault line. But officials from the company insist the plan is safe and can withstand a quake of up to a magnitude of 6.1. They shouldn't be concerned because the likelihood of an earthquake greater than what we're already prepared for is extremely low. And Steets, the spokesman for the company that owns and operates Indian Point, says it wasn't the earthquake that damaged the plant in Japan, it was the tsunami, and that the odds of a tsunami hitting here are even more remote than an earthquake hitting here. Chris? CBS's Jim Axelrod for us this morning in Peekskill, New York. Jim, thank you.